Well, I was really impressed with the session that I was actually a part of, which was historic preservation and new urbanism and how we could create connections, enhance the connections that are already there, how we can share challenges, solutions to challenges. And it was very interesting because we talked about everything um, that the Charter for the New Urbanism discusses, which is um, connectivity and enhancement at the level of the building, the block, the neighborhood, and the region. For me, this sustainability tract of, of stormwater is why I'm here this year. The best idea that I've seen or heard today was the, the discussion between the light imprint and the low impact development guys. It is an issue that we've been struggling with in communities for a long time and is being able to frame it in a little more clearer way that allows you to have the best of green infrastructure as well as build compact walkable urbanism is a pretty meaningful and powerful tool. What we're talking about here at the conference is ways to expand all sorts of transit because, um, you know, you, when you ride in a car, you limit the transportation for about a third of the population. Kids and older people can't, uh, and, and there's lots of people who can't afford cars. So we should really be spending some time now as a country looking at ways to improve biking and walking. Charles Waldheim. No, Charles Waldheim will be debating Andres Duane, and that's going to be an incredible discussion of landscape urbanism. Andres is in the mode of very much creating connections, and there is a lot that we can learn from landscape urbanism, but both parties have to be open to what the other contributes. Uh, the landscape urbanists must be open to new urbanism, and from what I've seen, they um, really don't like us. <laughs>